Today we are honoured to be striking the first circulating coinage of King Charles III. These coins will be going into circulation by December, so you should start to see them in your pockets through Christmas month. There will be 9.6 million of these coins going into circulation in a nod to Her Late Majesty, who died at the age of 96. So I have only designed the obverse, or the front of the coin, uh, the royal side, if you like. Uh, so there is what uh, we call the effigy of the monarch uh, in, in the centre. He is, uh, in this instance, looking to the left. His mother looked to the right. Every monarch will look in opposite directions uh, to their predecessors. Uh, and then for each coin, there will be a slightly varied inscription. Uh, what I particularly wanted to do was to have the whole face of the coin working well as a design. So where others might not have, other designers in the past might have been less interested in the inscription and concentrated more on the, the effigy, uh, I very much wanted to look at both of those working together. I suppose as a historical context, uh, years and years ago, the only image of a monarch that you would get, that you would see, you know, pre-printing and so on, was on the coinage. And albeit kings and queens can be seen in all sorts of media these days, um, still the coin in your pocket is an intimate way of, of seeing your, your king, now King Charles III. 9.6 million of the 50 pence pieces are about to go into production and it's extraordinary just looking at even one of them. They're such perfect objects, something like half a dozen at least of these coins are uh, produced every second by the machinery and each one is, as I see it, a little work of art. And some people uh, will have been very familiar over 70 years with seeing the Queen facing to the right. And when they see the coins of King Charles in their change, when they're buying a newspaper or a pint in the pub, they'll see him facing to the left. And so it goes back almost certainly 300 years. I wish I could give you an explanation, but it's part of our lives. The, the portrait, you know, arriving at a portrait that is a great likeness, that has a degree of dignity to it as well, that looks, that makes the king look like a king, as well as look like a man, look like he, he is today. That's the real challenge in making the coinage of a new reign. Uh, there'll be all sorts of other challenges that we'll face as the, as, as the reign evolves, uh, but that, that moment at the beginning of the reign to get the likeness as it should be is, is, is very, very important.